है दोस्तों वेलकम टू द टेक डिजाइन स्टडी इफ यू वांट टू ज्वाइन कंप्लीट प्लास्टिक मोल्ड डिजाइन कोर्स यू कैन कांटेक्ट मी ऑन दिस नंबर फॉर दिस कोर्स ड्यूरेशन इज 30 डेज एंड इन दिस कोर्स यू विल गेट लाइव गूगल मीट क्लासेस लेक्चर रिकॉर्डिंग्स कंप्लीट टेन फोल्डर कोर्स एंड कंपोनेंट एट द सोर्स फाइल फॉर द प्रैक्टिस ओके For joining this course, you have to pay 500 rupees registration fees for securing seat, and in registration fees, you will get two days demo class or the live demo class. Okay. For joining this course, you need this software skill, which is also known as NS Unit Graphics CAD program. Okay. If you have not this skill, you can join NS Unit Graphics CAD program, which duration is 15 days, and in this course, you will also get eight folder course. Okay. so you can contact me on whatsapp on this number for joining this course so friends today we will discuss about the tool design so first question is what is the tool design basically tool design is the term for industry which is used for the mass production of any type of component okay in this category we have three category we have three types of tool design uh plastic tool design sheet metal tool design and the hpdc design here hpdc means high pressure die casting we will also cover this hpdc in this course but uh, basic or the main focus will be in plastic tool design we will focus on plastic tool design okay in plastic tool design uh today we will discuss about some basic points about or the basic step so here Uh, figure shows the core and the cavity so what is the core and cavity cavity basically cavity is the female portion of any type of component and the core is the male portion of any type of component this is the component this is the part okay once cavity and the core met impression will be created okay and uh, we feel the material in this impression then we get the part after cooling okay so this is the basic mold or this is the fundamental mold okay so here we have some plastic mold design step so this are the step which we will take while designing a plastic mold okay here first point is plastic component design with 2d drafting okay uh, once we start the mold designing we need a drawing or the 2d or the 3d component okay if we have not 3d component we have to prepare 3d like uh, step or xt or any type of cad file okay then mold design concept once we get the 3d component we need shrinkage and the other information like uh, what is the plastic material okay then we will design a mold concept that uh, design mold concept uh, define that uh, how we can eject that part from the mold okay and what will be the mechanism for the mold okay here mold tool design in mold tool design we will create a complete mold base okay here mold drawing with jdnt once we complete design of mold we create drawings or we create drafting with jdnt for the manufacturing aspect okay once uh, we created mold and after manufacturing we trial the mold after trial we receive a component for the quality inspection if the quality inspection is passed by the engineer our component will be ready or our mold will be ready okay if our component will be fail then mold will be go for the reworking okay if the component is incorrect okay here we have some drawing or this is the basically grommet drawing this is the grommet component okay its material is pvc and this is the 2d drawing for this component okay you can uh, check out this component this is the plastic component or this type of component we need for the mold okay and this is the mold concept design for example this is the yellow component this is the cavity half this is the core half okay or you can say this is the core half this is cavity half this is the side this is a side core okay so this is the mold concept for this component okay here we have complete tool design but uh, this is the half portion of the mold or uh, this is the core portion of the mold in this uh, diagram 
we see the ejector grid and the spacer block and the bottom plate okay basically this is the incomplete mold okay here i am showing you a mold this is the two plate mold or the solid plate cold runner mold here you can see this mold in this mold we have created only single cavity component okay so this mold can create only one mold in one shot okay in this mold we have some parts let's discuss about some parts here this is the top plate or the cavity plate both plate in both plates are in one okay and uh, once we hide this we get core plate okay this is the component this is the this is the component and this is the core plate one minute this is the core plate this is the resistor or the locating ring this is the resistor ring or the locating ring for aligning the uh, nozzle or the sprue of injection molding machine okay here this is the sprue for response which is responsible for entering the material into the impression okay this is the sprue sprue portion this is the waste material which is with the component okay this is the component complete component this is the ejector pins okay so i am showing you some basic parts at the mold base part for the injection mold this is the ejector plate and ejector back plate this is the bottom plate this is the spacer block okay so this is the basic mold or the plastic mold for a single component okay so in next lecture we will discuss about some further information about the injection mold or the tool design okay so here if you want to join this complete program in english language you can contact me on this number uh, on whatsapp i will provide you some more detail about or the regarding this course okay okay doston bye